Hello everyone, we're back. So, last time I said we're probably gonna go down to the uh, hospital and start clearing stuff out. So I was thinking, what would be a good way to possibly do that, right? We have a bunch of stuff that we can use. So, I had an idea. First of all, I'm gonna take these, uh, these things here. I'm gonna pass them into our inventory. And the tweezers, I'm, I'm gonna put away for right now. Actually, I'm not gonna hold on to them. They're only like 0 0.1 weight. All right. And then, I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna drop the belt real quick. And then the uh, the hammer and the screwdriver will also drop because those weigh a little bit, right? I don't need those on. Uh, the holster I can also drop because I'm not really well. That's the thing, isn't it? I'm not sure. Hold on. We'll we'll consider things. So I was thinking we'll go down with some guns and uh, kind of see how things rock and roll, right? Hmm. This shotgun's condition is kind of crap. What about the other stuff? Well. Hmm. Let's take that shotgun. And equip it in both my hands here. We have that metal bar from the shotgun, so we'll grab our shotgun shells. All the shotgun shells we have in here, but let's take a look over in this storage area. Okay. And do I have any shotgun shells that are just kind of hiding out inside this area? Another box. Two more boxes. Okay, I think that's all the box of shotgun shells we have here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some of those in my backpack here just to lighten my load a little bit. Let's go ahead and put the metal bar in there, too, just to really lighten stuff up. All right. So here we are in all of our glory, ready to go. Also, I just remembered I still haven't put Carrie's keys into my own and dropped that. I'm not sure if that weighs anything, but it's just kind of another thing I have to click through, so we'll just get rid of that for now. All right, so let's go ahead and open one box of shells for right now. Still a little overweight because of that, which is unfortunate. How much do all these shells cost together? Barely anything, to be honest. Hold on a second. Let's take all of this, put it in my main inventory. And if I just take this hiking bag... What if I drop it? That gives me down to 15, okay. So the backpack would be better to hold on to. I gotcha. All right. Let's open two boxes of shells. Then I'll go ahead and put the rest in here. Along with the tweezers. Because we don't need them. And, uh, damn, I wish there was another way I could get down lower here. I was going to consider taking down some other stuff, but I think at this rate, I wouldn't be wise since we'd be carrying too much. But we should eat first. Just thought about that. Um, let's see. Fatigue, boredom, unhappiness, temperature, calories, endurance. Okay. What do we want to eat? Could potentially be our last meal. Let's eat a fruit cocktail. How about that? Something, you know, a little bit good. Let's go ahead and run out here and put this away. Perfect, drop it right up to where I wanted it. All right. Let's head downstairs. And we'll start clearing out our hospital. That's the plan, anyway. A little bit surely, we'll start clearing out that hospital. Okay. I'm 
trying to look and see what that fatigue stat does, because it's slowly going up. If I, like, sit on the ground, do we go slower or anything, or... I just keep going. Okay. Anyway. Let's go ahead and close, close the gate. Thank you. All right. We still have to finish up this wall, too, at some point, but... For now, we're fine. So let's head on out. Towards the hospital. We're just gonna draw some attention to ourselves. Once we get there. Is this a jump fence? It is. Okay. Alright. We're gonna jump the fence, take some beta blockers. Almost didn't make it over that. Beta blockers will stop us from getting scurred. Alright, hey! Come here, zombies. Come on. Waiting for. Gather up here. Okay. So I think we'll make like a kind of a circuit around the hospital. Try to gather up as many as we can here. Mukas are thinning the herd here a little bit. We just go up this way. I think we can only hit like a maximum four at a time or something. So we just do this. Shotgun will also lure them in so we can uh, get a couple more lined up. Let's go around this way to lure them into a tighter formation and hold them down. Perfect. Let's search these guys for any keys or anything they might have on. Because who knows, maybe we'll find something interesting. Ooh, a foreman vest, that's fancy. I thought that tie was it. I always keep thinking that the ties are like keys or something. I'm just being shit. Okay. Well, we can't keep searching, so let's uh, reload as we move around. We got a nice little sizable group here. Here we go. Yeah, come on, out of the hospital. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of zombies, huh? All right, let's turn back. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. They really like the shotgun sound, huh? Pop some more beta blockers. I need to be closer to the enemies. There we go. Okay. Let's go up a little bit. Let these groups kind of collide and close off any avenue of escape there. One, two, three, four, turn, and let's get ready to fire. run down and around. That way we can get these guys into a tighter formation here. Why am I in pain? Right, I exercised. I'm an idiot. I just have a little bit of a trip chance, which is uh, okay. Not great, but I shouldn't be running too much to the point that I trip, right? Come on, y'all. Gather on up. Over here. Let's go. Come on now. Surely, but surely I'll get all y'all together. As we'll be 
reload while we're just walking around. Hey, are you at the door? Come hither. Hither, tither, through and fro. Turn around and unleash out upon the foes. Not yet, though. So we need to get a little bit tighter here. Come on, conga line, let's go. All right, now we can do it. So we're going to go down this street here. It looks like it's mostly clear. I say that I see another zombie here. Oop. Got another one, too. Mm. Yep. Oh, this is a dead end. Alright, let's go. Need to go over now? Oop. Okay. Perfect. Now that we can just, uh, try to get to the other side of this horde. Oh my god, look at them all going in there. In fact, why don't we take this opportunity right now to smoke a cigarette to lower our anxiety? Okay, I don't want to run too much, because if I run, it's going to... Wait, did I just stop smoking the cigarette for some reason? I guess I did. At least we know there's a dead end down there. I need to be careful about that. So we probably don't want to go back that way. I'll just take some painkillers because it looks like we're getting into dangerous territory there with my attack damage and stuff lowering. Right, let's head back into here. Nice backpack, buddy. Oh ho! We're looking on uh, kills here. 66. Okay. Not the greatest amount yet, but getting there. Here comes the rest. Alright, let's run a little bit. Turn. Didn't cock at the last second there. We're gonna need beta blockers again. Going. We just got to be careful not to get our back exposed to any enemies here. Come on. Come on. Woo! Yep, I fucked that up. We uh, no longer have shells in our inventory. I think I can open the box while moving, right? I cannot. Okay, well... Let's run up a bit, turn, and unload. There we go. Now reload the gun. Not that. Hey, you! Hey! 
Over here. Hey, losers. Come on. Stop wandering off and get into this fucking horde that I'm making. Focus them back in on themselves as we take some more painkillers. I think we're getting a little bit too many to keep corralled. They seem to be wandering off on me. It's gonna make it so we can't actually turn around and shoot them. Oh, almost at me. At least if we need to break off, we can just use one of the fences, jump over, and then run back home. Which is going to be my plan when we inevitably have to run away. Turn. Fire. This is bad. I got to run. Right through here, thread the needle. Thread this needle. Woo! We're heading up here now. Still have those three zombies here, but after that, it should be uh, fairly clear. Blockers wore off. Grab some more. As soon as I fuck up, like even for a second, like one zombie hits me, I'm screwed. Uh, just based off how many there are right here, right? If I get like delayed for a second. They're gonna be on me like zombies on brains. while I'm walking here. Yeah, let's get it out of there. Then we can go ahead and just take all of it. Turn and unbox shells all. Alright, these are my last shotgun shells. Let's reload and get ready. Shouldn't have uh, moved there at the last second. Finally, out of the uh, in pain territory, not in pain, uh, overweight territory. Them to hurt a little bit. I think most of them got lost, though, so. That right there was great. I killed so many right there.
was close. Reload. Reload, my guy. Come on. I'm hitting R, but he's not reloading. Got them. Got them. Goddamn, see what happens when you have a higher aiming and stuff? Oh, shit! Oh, that was so close. That guy almost got me. That one seems to be a little bit faster than the others. But after this, we can bring out our other guns and have ammo and... Start taking pot shots at him. How is my durability on this going? It's barely gone down, so it can actually last quite a while, it looks like. I'm gonna run through all these guys and get their attention. Try and group them up a little bit better. And let's go ahead and uh, take some more beta blockers. Hey, hey, you, you, come on, over here, let's go. Oh, woo! I wasn't expecting him to be that close to me. You can tell my guy is, like, out of his fucking mind right now. Just because of the fact that we're seeing him. I still get terrified when we, uh get next to a lot of them. Here we go. We're gathering up a nice little group here. I think I want to go this way. I'll go up here. start shooting yet. I want to go this way before we start doing that. There we go. Get him next to the group. Alright. One, two, three, four. Turn. That lady down there is going to throw me off. a little bit closer to the group there. Oops. Didn't get a chance to rack it before we turned around. So we gotta go to get before this guy gets us. Because we have two more full, well not full, but we have this and then a spare two shells. Which will plug in now. Which will plug in now, I said. Alright, so once this clicks, we're out. Last bullet. Yep. It's the last one, cuz. Click. Alright. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this shotgun on the ground. Uh we have other shotguns in there. God, there's so many more coming now. 
That's fine. Look, the juke nerd. Ah, I'm being loud for no reason. I should probably equip the metal bar just in case I have to use it. Okay. Now I'm just going to jump this fence. And we're going to head home. I can grab some more guns, and we can pick out some more people. And by people, I mean zombies. Because if we look, the zombies should still be pissing around down there, the other side of the fence, so I don't have to worry about that. Climb the rope. The rope. Sometimes E works don't like how it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. It annoys me. Alright. We've also done just a lot of, uh, like, movement and running in general. So I'm wondering if maybe we want to rest until tomorrow and then go back out again. That's probably going to be the wise decision, so that way we don't get tired while we are uh, out and about, right? So, let's do just that. I'm going to choose our next weapon. So we have a bunch of 44 rounds, which I believe is what the Desert Eagle takes, right? It does. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of my eagles. Go ahead and equip it at the primary. Put the metal bar in my backpack. Grab out all these nine uh, those rounds. One, one. Grab, grab all of them. Okay. Here we have all these. Let's go ahead and unbox one of these. Uh, insert into magazine. Insert magazine. Let me go ahead and insert four bullets into here. And we're going to go ahead and open up another box and one more box here and we can go ahead and keep inserting or I can probably do it this way to see all of them okay that's loaded that's loaded that's loaded how about the eagle current holding lesson what's there all right so the thing about the the magazines is we're going to need them uh because we can't just load bullets in shot like a shotgun right we have to actually have uh, them ready like this so i'm gonna put a couple uh, more boxes in here actually you know what let's, let's open all of the ammunition that we have it's gonna overweigh us a little bit, but that's fine. I'm just gonna put the rounds in here. And hold on. Put them all in here. Then I wanna grab half. Then the other half I can just go ahead and put in here for safekeeping. That way it lowers my, my stuff a little bit, right? Okay. Cool. So now that we've done that, um else I really want to do. Do we really need a metal bar right now? I don't think we do. I think that's just going to weigh us down. So if we get rid of that, I should take care of most of my carrying issue. I think I can just take the alcohol wipes and everything else and put them in my backpack and that'll take care of that. Alright, excellent. Now. Hell yeah. So before we go out there and die, like an idiot or something, 
go ahead and just transcribe in our journal to uh, note down our, our aiming and everything that we've gotten here already. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and do some push-ups until we're exhausted. That way we can sleep until roughly morning. Or until we decided to stop for some reason. I don't get it sometimes. Am I like too hungry? No, I'm just... Okay, well. Hey, sleeping tablets. You want to uh, race me with your presence? And then while we're waiting for the sleeping tablets to kick in, let's go ahead and eat some chili. And then let's grab some peaches as well for the morning. We'll have that there. Oh, look, we are tired now. Aw, because we took sleeping pills. But still. I think I can exercise more before we go to bed since we like... Yeah, we did like a push-up and a half or something there. Anyway, we'll sleep. There we go. My sleep and tiredness and everything's fading away. And right at midnight we wake up. I was hoping it would be later than this, but uh... Okay. That's fine. Was that, was that the last of the matches that I had there, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, we have more 44 rounds there. And more uh, magazines. Well, I guess I'll take more magazines. Let's see. 888 and one. Insert bullets. The more magazines we have, the less we have to stand around and reload when we're doing stuff. Also, can I move around when I'm doing this? I can. Okay, perfect. Good to know. Um, then the empty tin can I can throw in here. All right, I'm gonna search a little more over here on the gun cases since we have a little bit of time. I will see if I have any more 44 rounds, which I do. And another magazine. We might as well take all the magazines we can muster, right? gonna be a whole different scenario now though because now we aren't uh running around with a shotgun that can blast four zombies or more at once actually, i actually think it's just limited to four but uh yeah unfortunately we're gonna have to deal with these six magazines so we're gonna have oh what is it um i guess technically seven times eight so we're gonna have 56 uh bullets before we have to reload everything and that's gonna take a little bit of time so yeah all right i just want to kind of do nothing for a moment but well, what if i what if we do some more push-ups now yeah. Then we just go go to sleep again. All right, rest, I guess. Okay. Well, that wasted two hours. So with just the shotgun, we got around 170 kills. Because I think we were around 20... Or like 30 or something, right? Before. We might as well just keep repeating this process.
until it gets a little bit nicer out. Okay. And we can rest again. Can I just rest anywhere or like no, it has to be near the bed. Like I can't tell if I'm actually like resting or what. Anyway. Exercise fatigue. I don't know what that is doing for me, but Yep. Anyway. We'll eat our peaches. I think we'll also do something a little bit crazy before we go out there. Maybe the craziest thing we've ever done, y'all. The craziest thing. Watch this. Check this out. We're going to do a crossword magazine. Ooh. Get rid of our boredom. All right. Let's smoke a ciggy on our way down. Let's see how we go. I almost started going to the right there. All right, up here comes the pain. Luckily, we still have painkillers, so that's not a big problem for us. All right. Here, a zombie down there doing something. Hopefully, a huge horde didn't come and. Knock on my front door, or else we're gonna have to go back up here and go out a different way. Before clearing them out. Alright. Before we head out, painkillers. Oh shit. How many are out here? Quite a few, huh? I think we're gonna have to get out of here. I don't think I can juke them and then. But not, this gun's loud. So, uh. As you can see, that did not do much. Hey, buddy, could you, could you not? No, run away. I don't wanna get caught right there. But again, this is good training. We, we don't want to fight a huge horde, but uh, you can't take down just a little bit there, right? Did I accidentally kill the one in the back there? That's hilarious. All right, let's lure them away from our... Uh, I did not see that one in the shorts there. We have one bullet left in the chamber. Okay. I guess it's just time to go ahead and reload then. All right. We're going to fire eight shots, then we're going to reload. That's how we're going to do this, all right? Is that five or six? I was expecting the 44 to be a little bit stronger than it is. I was expecting like straight up just like one shot most of them, but Six, 
seven. Seven? That fucking didn't do anything to that guy. We have a couple more shots in this one, I guess. Yep. Reload. I think now I'm just luring people in from their surrounding neighborhoods because of how loud this gun is. Oh, wait, does it automatically put them back in the magazine? Oh, that will take a little bit of time while we're luring them around and actually loading stuff in the magazine here. Hello, friends. Don't mind me, just preparing to kill y'all. Pistols are kind of not great. Shotguns are like the cream killing machine, huh? Maybe if I get like a machine gun or something, it'd be a little bit better, but... The fact that I'm only able to shoot like eight bullets at a time, a little bit less than ideal. Okay. I think we're good to go. It's on each hill. experience now. Now it's at 42. Oh, wow. Nope. Oh, that was a click. soon. What's with the 12 and 11 damage, guys? Come on. High number, come on. Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage looks like fucking nothing. I think I need to do like hundred and fifty damage to kill them. Right, let's lure them to the fences over here. Yeah, I'm just luring in the whole fucking neighborhood, not even the hospital at this point. This is not uh, an ideal scenario. Maybe I can just use the gun to lure them away from the hospital and then claim that I've killed everything in the hospital after that. I want to shoot that one. I can't believe it's making me kill the ones that I don't want to kill. Auto-targeting kind of sucks. Yeah, I can't kill fucking anybody if like the one guy I try to shoot goes down and then he decides not to actually die. All right. We've got a student. Surely, as an American, I can kill them. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to make a school shooting joke there, but it did not work because apparently I just can't fucking kill anything on the ground. Except for that one guy that I did that one time, but... Once again, we are out of 
magazines that have bullets in them. Let's go ahead and take a moment and just insert rounds into magazines. Can I shoot through fences, do you think? Is that all? That's all my ammo. Alright, let's, let's try something new here. If I get over this fence... Looks like I can. Yeah, I'm doing is causing like minimal unnecessary damage. Gonna take some beta blockers, then jump over this fence real quick. Hey, lady, think fast. Okay, she thought fast. She moved. Took some time to avoid that shot. You guys, but you know, still. Why am I terrified? Did I not just take beta blockers? I'll take some more. Let's overdose on some beta blockers, huh, guys? How many shots do I have left in my deagle right now? One. Okay. Reload. Oh, I just got one bullet left, period. Okay. Yeah, that's about how that goes. Okay, we are officially out of ammo for the Deagle. I could just drop it here, but it's a decent condition one, so I don't think I will. Also, I want to lure these zombies further away from my home before we uh, go back up to it to get our next gun. Where are these guys going? Looks like most of them are gonna go around this way, which is perfect for me. As long as I stay right here, I'll be able to see them coming from down this side. Hey, get angry, get angry, come on. Come at me. I wish I could see like behind this house better. So just in there. Shit. I'm gonna see like the first one here. Yep. Alright, so now we're gonna run. And we're going to jump over the fence here. Yep, okay. We're gonna jump over here. Get you. And we're gonna run down to our rope. Down this way. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Didn't realize that was happening. It looks like one of our rope things got destroyed down here. It's not good. Okay, well, we made it here safely. Yay! Equip. Oops. Yeah, out of the way. Out of the way. Come on. Well, that's not ideal. So we have uh, a nine millimeter left, 
And then we have the uh, M14 hunting rifle kind of thingy, right? Okay, uh, chili open one. We'll eat some chili right now. Why not? A little bit of chili. Okay. Now that we've sated our hunger, let's go ahead and put away the deagle and the magazines for it. There we go. All right, so we have uh, what, what's the M14 take? I don't have a magazine for it there, so um, eject magazine. It takes 308. I have 20 there. Do I actually have enough 308 rounds? I have a box here. 45 auto. I don't even know what takes 45 auto. Now let's check the gun cases here. We have a couple of 9 mil. Here's some more 308. What's this gun take? It also takes 308 better. Damage is a light green. This one is about this. Let me put these in here. I can't because they are like that. Okay. Uh, unequip. They both start with M, so they should be next to each other here. Hmm. Looks like they're about the same. Wait, does this one take magazines? It does. Okay, anyway, put that away for right now. We'll take the M14 out. If we can find more ammunition for it. Let's see any more M14 mags? Nine. Oh, 45 auto, that's what that takes, okay. Right, there was no more M14 up here, right? No, nope. we have plenty of M9 ammo as well, which we could use at some point here. Um, all right, so that looks like all the rounds we're gonna have. So if I open up all these, and then we put the empty can can in there, and then we load these magazines. Insert 20 bullets, okay. They hold a decent amount, at least. Perfect. We're in business. With just one spare magazine, which is not ideal. But we have 140 shots to spare, which means we can reload seven times. Not too dirty, so we're not gonna worry about washing ourselves yet. Alright, um hmm. let's go ahead and smoke. Because there's something else I want to do here. Hello, bourbon stash. How are you doing? Uh, rags, rags, rags. I think all my rags should be in here. So if I actually just right click with this, make Molotov all. I don't know how Molotovs weigh more than uh, everything else, but apparently they do. I'm not overweight by too much. Although it is time to sleep now. What did I just do? I just hit F and it like unequipped the the gun and did something. Too much pain to sleep. Uh... There we go. We can sleep now. 
I don't want to go out there tired. Okay. Is it still daylight out or has it turned to night? It's just barely daylight out. All right, let's head on down. Get it again, goddammit. I think our best option right now is to go not down the stairs all the way uh, and then go to the center area, but I think it's to go down through here this way with our rope. Okay. Of course, now we're hungry and stuff too. That's that's perfect. All right. We have all these zombies over here. Oh my god, there's so many! Holy fuck! I have a different idea. We're going to take some beta blockers, lure all these guys out into the field. God. And there's even more there. This is going to be fucking insane, bros. As long as we're not near the uh, the apartment. Oh, they're not going around. Some of them are idiots. You can see it. Well, I'll try to get as many as possible, just kind of chilling around um, in this area. And then we can start the ground on fire like we did here before. Throw a molly into them. And uh, pray we're able to kill quite a few of them. Yeah? Because mainly I just want to get my base safe. For me to actually like descend to places. Did these idiots like get lost? Come on! Hey! Go on over here! Let's go! That guy in the purple is uh, running really fast. Okay. Let's, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then. Yeet! No, 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 no yeet? Okay. Um. I fucking forgot how to throw the goddamn Molotov, I guess. If I do it this way. How the fuck do I throw a Molotov? And I was ready to fucking throw it, and then I just, like, stopped. Equip primary. Did I maybe not have the lighter equipped before? Nope. Still not working. Where did it? Equip primary. Equip secondary. I swear to God, this is how I did it before, right? Come on, you two, all, all, all groups come together. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then yeet! Right? There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and equip my rifle. That way we're not completely discomforted. Did any of them light on fire? Did anything happen? I don't think anything fucking happened. I don't see any fire at all. Even the fucking concrete lit on fire before.
Okay. Okay. That's fine. Let's try again. But this time, a little bit differently. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on. Going around here. This may be a dumb idea, but we'll see if it works out or not. stuck for a second there. Is this a jail? Rental storage or something. Oh no. Oh no! Gotta get the stairs. Gotta get to the stairs. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, this is not what I wanted. Please tell me I can just jump off this. No. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck it! So my, my plan was I was going to go into a building and light it on fire with all the zombies inside. However, that, uh, as you can tell, didn't really work. I don't know. I'm beginning to think this is stupid. This whole trying to clear out these zombies thing. Because, like, they just keep appearing for some reason, even though they're not supposed to, right? Look at the zombie lore. Um, is the zombie lore or advanced zombie options? Oh, they do respawn. Since fucking when? I thought I disabled that. It's no wonder I've been having so much issue. The zombies keep freaking respawning. I was like, yeah, I'm clearing zombies out. Things are going good. And then, you know, it should have been like some sort of giveaway. And I had seen zombies come and like respawn in or like the areas that are cleared in the apartment buildings, right? They apparently already had zombies in them after I had cleared them once, right? And removed the stairs. Somehow someone got up there, right? So, uh, yeah. Okay. I think we're going to make a new class here. Let's go ahead and load up the survival kit. And let's remove stuff that we don't really need. Um, transfer items quickly. Fuck it. Who cares? I don't give a rat's ass about that. I want to be strong and be able to carry a bunch more stuff. Okay? That's what I want. Um, so we're going to need 10 for that. Okay, so... Uh, Lucky. Fuck it, we don't need Lucky. Um, eating less regularly? Screw it. Get out of there. Give me strong. Okay. I just want to look up what Lucky actually does. 
Uh, apparently it does 10 percent chance of finding rare loot negative five percent chance of failing to item repairs uh also says it does not work in multiplayer but i don't know just a 10 percent chance to find rare loot i feel like i found most stuff that i, I need right what else could i get rid of thick skin means <clears throat> i don't get injured as much but i mean as long as i you know don't get injured i could i can just get rid of that one screw it and we can put Lucky back in. And another stat. Make less noise when moving. Well, I think we're at the point where I don't care about that one, right? Uh, so what else is at the top here? Big skinned Hunter, Adrenaline Junkie, Move Faster When Panic, uh, Organized, Increased Container Capacity. That could be useful. Need less water to survive, larger perception radius, uh, Trapping Foraging. We could take fit, and that'll increase my fitness. And then down to the two range. I guess we could just take dexterous again. Yeah. We're gonna save as new. No, let's not do that. Uh, MK2. For our second survival class. And then we'll just randomize our guy. We are now Gerald Yancey. We're not going to continue with Yancey too far today. We're just going to see where he spawns and know how much of a pain in the ass I'm going to have to do to... Why? Why over here? You know what? Maybe Yancey just ant heroes right now. Maybe he just, like, goes stands in some glass or something. Like, of all the places, why here? Why not up here or somewhere closer? Like, there's plenty of houses here, my guy. Come on. I really have to run all the way back over there. Oh, you're killing me. Well, we got a couple of beers. We'll just kind of loot our house here for... Why is that door open? Have I searched it before? I don't know. Let's equip this garbage bag in our secondary so we can carry some extra stuff. I'm going to grab a pencil. We can at least write on the map. Uh, let's try to find a weapon of some sort. How about this frying pan that we saw. Yeah. Woo. Hopefully we can find something a little bit sturdier, but for now, that's what we'll take. How about upstairs? We keep spawning these poor houses where there's like... Uh, yeah, we've definitely been here before since all the doors are like wide open, which means there's going to be no decent loot in here. In fact, I think our previous guy actually was here. When he spawned nearby here, he was looting stuff. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to wear these pants instead because these shorts aren't aren't helping us much in terms of protection. Yeah, we ain't got shit here. We're armed with a frying pan, and, and that's about it. All right, well, here's our guy down in the south here, and we're just going to have to make a run for it again. You know what? I might, as, I might just, like, cut out that process and just do it myself and not have uh, you guys subjected to that boringness of running up there but hey at least now we figured out that uh zombies should stop spawning again hey i seriously thought we turned that off um so that's definitely why we were getting a lot more resistance than we thought it's a good thing we found that out now instead of later right when we'd like cleared the hospital and some surrounding areas and we were still like why is this so difficult? Why are there so many zombies still? Also, I want to research how Molotovs work, because the first one we threw should have set some on fire, right? But it didn't. It just did whatever. I don't know. It was bizarre. But uh, yeah, we'll continue next time at some point and go from there. Bye for now.